is falling, night's drawing in, nature going into hibernation. Inspiration soon. is officially on. Burning question by the way everyone, was the beginning of this video asmr -y? Because that was the aim. I just prepped you up somewhere better but excuse me while I put my contacts in because I cannot see a thing and I don't want to wear gags today because I can't trust myself to not get makeup all over my glasses like I'm just a bit of a mess to be honest. That's better. I can actually see you now. <laughs> I'm on the dregs of my skin food. Ooh, I look like drop dead Fred. You know when he gets his head slammed in the fridge door? That was not enough. I need it on thick today. My skin is feeling dry because of like the slight change in weather. Always happens. That is, some, that is some spreading on my face, isn't it, when I'm trying to put my moisturiser on? I've never noticed that. Um, I love to moisturise my eyebrows up. Anyone else? Stick them up with some skin food. Welcome to a brand new video. Um, if you're new, I would love you to hit subscribe. I make a vlog like this. Um, I do what I eat in a day videos. If you like the sort of video where it's just somebody doing normal stuff, <laughs> then you might like my channel. If you are already an existing subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. First things first, HRT, before I forget. Ah! It's currently Sunday and it's just gone 8 o'clock. I've been up since about half six, um, waving Tom off to go to America for a week, which I'm absolutely gutted about because he's not been away for a while. Um, and when I get back into the swing of having him at home all the time, I miss him so much more when he goes away. But I just thought today I would keep myself busy, have a nice day, um, go into the garden centre with my friend. Um, we're either going to go to Holly's Farm Shop in Cheshire, which is about a 40 minute drive away, or it's going to be Bent's Garden Centre, which is, I think, personally the best garden centre. We're a bit torn on where to go, but we'll be going to one of the two. Got a family roast planned later, gonna walk on it. It's just gonna be a really nice slow Sunday today and I thought we could spend it together. I picked up some new Maybelline makeup bits yesterday. Don't you just find out that you run out of all your makeup products all at the same time? Um, I just got the eraser, Maybelline eraser concealer. It's called Warm Something and it's, it's the only one that's called that, so it's in the shade 115 this. I'm just gonna plonk this under my eyes quite heavily because I had one of those nights sleep last night where it was kind of non-existent. I ended up watching Come Down With Me at about 2 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, the concealer's needed. I got the Superstay 24 hour skin tint from Maybelline as well. My bestie I'm seeing today, Alex, she recommended this. She didn't tell me what shade to get and I literally just... That was a bit too much, so let's spread that around. Um, I literally just went for what I thought in the shop and I wore it yesterday and it looked alright so we're going with it. Um, I have to say that I'm just like not that bothered about makeup anymore. It just doesn't bother me. I don't watch makeup videos anymore. Um, I wear very, very minimal makeup during the week. I'll put a bit on at weekend if I've got plans but I also feel like as I'm getting older, less makeup looks better on me. I say that and I may as well have actually used a trowel to apply that but I feel like before powder or anything I just don't look like me until I've got lip liner on. This is a Rimmel one, Tiramisu, it's my favourite ever. This is so nice, Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss, it's in Pinch Me and it's so good. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything, the Refi one does. I've got the Refi one but I hardly ever wear it. Right, brows, because they are not okay. They've completely faded now and like just gone back to how they were originally. Um, I got this yesterday as well, the NYX Lift and Snatch 
brow tint pen in ash brown i absolutely love this product i will never not buy this product i think it's better than the refi i'm i'm comparing a lot of this stuff to refi but it's just because i liked refi for so long and i still would buy refi um but this is a lot cheaper um but it's really really good for like precision with your brows um can you see that already i would have thought a pen like that would make your brows go really like blocky but if you just super like light with it the more you press on with it the darker they'll go but i think that looks natural um it just looks like i've had my eyebrows tinted and they still look a bit fluffy and do the same with the other one i love this bronzer See what the weather's like. It's a bit rainy. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear yet. Um, nothing new because unlike everybody on Instagram that seems to have 500 quid spare, I do not. Still in here spends money on things like rugs. Um, and then I start crying when I've got nothing to wear. Uh, I'm being sensible though, I'm selling loads of stuff on Vinted and I feel like if I sell enough stuff on there I'll feel justified and I can like go and buy some new stuff. Put a bit of the old wetness back in the cheeks. Do you eh? So that's the best I can do with my hair I'm afraid. I have no like pins to pin that bit in and all I can see when I look at that is Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> I watched it the other night, that's probably why. Mm. If you're looking for film recommendations, by the way, Captain Phillips, like, you can't go wrong with a bit of Tom Hanks. I've gone completely off topic and I really need to get a wriggle on. But before I go and get on with the day, I want to tell you about my massive discount that I've got with Anna Louisa at the minute. If you use this code on screen, you'll get 20% off the jewellery on the website. I am obsessed with Anna Louisa jewellery. I've been wearing it for like three years now. Um, and it's the only jewellery that I wear apart from like my wedding jewellery. I've got pieces from three years ago that look exactly the same as the stuff that I've got on now. These earrings are about six months old. I wear them every single day in the shower and they've never tarnished. So you 100% get your money's worth. A lot of the jewellery on the website is really dainty. You can wear it with any outfit. So I just feel like you really do get your wear out of the stuff. I know initial necklaces are super popular at the minute. What I love about this one is that it's quite tiny and I love jewellery that isn't super in your face they definitely have some more statement pieces on the website if you are more into that sort of thing um don't get me wrong I like the odd chunky hoop and things like that but this I just think is stunning and they do it in silver as well so you could get an initial in your baby's name pet's name or if you're looking for a gift for somebody I think that would be a really really nice gift all the jewellery from Anna Louisa, by the way, comes in these really cute little pouches. It makes it really good for when you're travelling. You can keep your jewellery safe in these. I would like a little display for all of my pieces. Um, but whilst I don't have one, I just keep them all in the pouches. These are the Sloan earrings and I absolutely love these. They're gold again. Um, like I said, they've got lots of silver jewellery on the website as well. I am just a bit more of a gold girl and you might be able to see from the colour of the gold, it's not super, super yellow, which means that if you are mixing metals, like my wedding ring is platinum. So if you are mixing metals, it doesn't clash too much. I personally like mixing the next thing i got was a little ear cuff now i've got a couple of ear cuffs from anna louisa and i just think that these add a little extra something to an outfit especially when you have your hair up like this and you don't have more than one piece piercing i think it's just nice to add a bit of something now and again this is just called the simple ear cuff and i think that, that is really really pretty and then they've got the horoscope necklaces. So they're very, very similar to the uh, initial necklaces, but you can get them in your own horoscope. I am an Aries, um, which actually, I don't believe I am a true Aries. I think I'm a Taurus. When I read about the characteristics of um, my star sign, it doesn't match me at all. I am definitely more Taurus, I think. And I, I'm sure my birthday sort of is near to me being a Taurus maybe that's why it makes more sense to me unless I just have a different perception of what my personality traits actually are but 
I just think that this would be the perfect gift for someone. If you are looking for a nice, good quality piece of jewellery that's going to last, Ana Luisa is the place to go. Look at her. When I try and put a harness on, she'll run away. It has just started chucking it down outside, so that's ideal. I do feel like this denim jacket makes me look like a human box like I think I should have probably sized down but it was so that I could get really chunky jumpers underneath it hmm. don't know you know what I did want to show you though the new rug in the dining room I put a reel on Instagram of it and I absolutely love let me show you what do we think vintage vibes Oh, he's got waggy tail. He's got waggy tail. Come on, you're going in your bed now. Yum, yum, yum. Wait. Go then. See the absolute glare on that then, me asking her to wait for a tea. Hmm. I am back from the garden centre. Breakfast, I wouldn't write home about it. Like, I wouldn't be in a rush to go back there but they do have like a tapas bar there if you're in the northwest um it's definitely worth a trip to bent anyway because it's it's amazing and they always have really nice christmas stuff in i really want to try the tapas bar but the breakfast was a little bit of a letdown let me show you what i bought i've just been pottering around since i got back um just like wiping down the sides i love this flash bicarb how nice is that have any of you tried it it's like a eucalyptus one i got myself these from the garden center um i actually looked in aldi when i was doing my food shop yesterday for some flowers and i thought no because i knew i was going to a garden center today i thought no i'll wait and i'll hold out and i'll get some from there and they were only 8.99 which i don't think is too bad i also got a dog friendly little cupcake for dotty my mum's puppy and um, she turned one yesterday so it's got popcorn in it and carob which is like the dog friendly chocolate um i think there's a list of ingredients yeah there's a list of ingredients on the back it's literally just popcorn and carob and even though it looks very appetizing it's not for human consumption and i got this one for this is a ginger one and i got this one for connie which she can have later on when we're chilling out best before the 21st of the 9th um rude it's out of dirt i mean it's it's best before not used by so it's fine but but yeah they've got a little doggy deli counter and a big pet section um with loads of toys and things i wish i could have got more clips of all the stuff that was in there but it was pretty rammers to be fair and i got a little bit i felt a little bit awkward with my camera out and then the battery died anyway so i didn't really have a choice i've got about 15 minutos before i need to set off um to go for tea so I need to make this quick, but this is my idea of a perfect Sunday, just slow, no major plans. Even if I end up doing a little bit of housework and I've not planned to, I don't mind as long as it's chilled and I'm doing it in my own time and I don't feel like the whole day is being taken up with cleaning. Um, 
me just wiping the sides today and throwing the dishwasher before was just a bit of keeping on top of everything which will just make me feel 10 times better tomorrow morning when I wake up and it's Monday um, we don't need our Mondays being made any harder do we? They are gorgeous aren't they? I really like those berries and I just thought they looked quite seasonal because all of these flowers were like near the autumn displays as well. How much do I need to chop off these? Probably about that much. I'm probably going to break these scissors doing this, aren't I? But yeah, oh, having a really nice day so far. Tom texted me before to say that his flight was delayed so he was running through the airport because he's going to Chicago this week. So he flew from Manchester to Frankfurt and then got a connecting flight to Chicago. in the um on the kitchen island won't they so i'm gonna pop them there now and then set off for tea yeah. 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 that baby squad what have you got alice I am <laughs> the most full I've ever been in my life. Um, did you see the size of that platter? Yeah, we shared it between two people and we didn't finish it all. I, I could have murdered a glass of red as well and I didn't. So I did try to curb it a little bit, but yeah, I definitely, definitely indulged. But I'm coming to you from a different place. I've been driving Tom's car today whilst he's in America. He said I could. <laughs> I don't know why he's trusting me with it because it's not that I'm a clumsy driver, I'm quite a nervous driver and I love my little mini because it's reliable. Let's turn this down. I love my little mini because it's reliable and it gets me from A to B and I know what I'm doing and I'm comfortable in that car. Whenever I get in a new car to drive it throws me a little bit. Um, it's just a bit weird getting used to it because my car's a manual one. This, this is electric so it's just weird not having a clutch and remembering that I don't have a clutch really. Tom's actually set me up as a driver so I'll watch this. Look, you just click, well if you put Tom in it like moves his seat to where, <laughs> excuse the pee bags, um, moves the seat back to wherever and then if I go on here and then move it back to me, it moves my seat back into position whenever I get in the car. Tom's friends at work absolutely rip him for the white interior and say that it looks like he's driving around in a giant tampon, which I can just not unsee now and not find funny. Like, it is a very, very nice car to drive. Um, it makes a change from my Mini, which is mainly just used for doing tip runs and stuff. I, I do love my Mini though. I'm, I'm not going to be getting rid of that anytime soon. Back in my PJs. I'm going to make a decaf cup of tea, I think. And then, Strictly Catch Up. I haven't watched any Strictly yet and what are we, two weeks in? Yeah, two Saturdays in so I desperately need to catch up with it. And what a perfect way to end my Sunday. I'm going to also let Connie have her little biscuit. Water, Connie's biscuit, tank strictly. Ah, uh -uh. sit, sit. Right, wait. But how do you know it's for you? You don't normally do that when I've got food. Right, wait, wait, wait. It's like a brick. Wait. Chew it up and spit it all over the rug, why not? Oh, Faith from Combination Street. Adam Thomas. I knew he was in it though. Where's Dennis? Mmm. 
Bobby Brazier uh, looks just like his mom. Oh, Bobby's gorgeous. everyone it's a little bit later and I'm about to go and just chill for the night now watch some tv and wait for Tom to ring me because he should be landing in Chicago very very soon um, and then just go into his hotel and give me a call I think he might have texted me oh no it's not him um but yeah I'm gonna leave the vlog here I'm gonna go and chill with Connie and Eric um have an early night ready for work in the morning don't forget you can shop Anna Louisa by clicking the link in the description box and you can use my code on screen now for 20% off your order thank you again so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye bye